We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to day 29 of The Phantom Menace. We're looking at the making of episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Very much got a little bit of everything. It's got a bit of concept art. It's got a little bit of screenplay stuff like the book I showed you yesterday. A little bit of everything in here, which is great. It's a nice sort of companion piece to the film. Um, written by Laurent Buzero and Jodie Duncan. I hope I've pronounced at least... Laurent's name correctly. <laughs> I apologise if not. But um, before we dive in, you know, like I said, this is a great companion piece to, especially the the making of episode one, the beginning, the documentary, which you know you can can access on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's it's up there, and it's if not, you've got the uh, DVD discs. It's on the special editions, on the sorry, the extra disc. So yeah, here's a little, few little dot points of what's, what contains in the book, but we're just going to have a little flick through it and take a look. So it gets from, you know, very much. Very much early days, you know. It all started on the morning of November 1st, 1994. And, uh, you know, that's... I've always... It's always a date that stood out to me because that would have been my sixth birth, my sixth birthday. Um, being that my birthday is November the second, and while November the second here in Australia is slightly in the future, it would have been November first. So my sixth birthday, George sat down to to start writing Star Wars Episode One. And here I am, thirty years later. Incredible. Um, yeah, just some some amazing information and, and like I said, concept art. Ideas for the pod race. You know, it gets into the actors. You know, people like Natalie Portman and Ewan McGregor were pretty new to the acting scene then. I think Ewan had done train spotting. Aside from that, you know, it was relative newcomers. Some of the lightsabers, some of the stunt sabers. There was lots of great footage in the beginning. In the documentary of Ewan and Liam and Ray Park all training with their lightsabers, all this sword play. So good to go back and watch that stuff. I think I'll be doing that. <laughs> I've I've literally inspired myself to go and do that this afternoon. So, Just sort of looking at George, looking at all the masks for all the aliens. It's good to start creating some new ones like the Nemoidians, Jar Jar, obviously, some Aqualish. Senators there. There's Ahmed Best. Oh, so good. What an absolute legend. The Jedi. Do not have an action figure of Depa Balaba yet. That's one I need to hunt for. Darth Maul. So sick. It's the master, the maker behind the lens. Yeah, just a really nice book. Nice picture of Jar Jar there. You know, you know, for all the for all the slack that Phantom Menace has gotten over the years, it's. It's great, 25 years later, to see how much love this film is, is getting today. It's, you know, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do a video on it every single day for an entire month, you know. <laughs> the underwater scene. A lot, of, a lot of detail and information. Another Star Wars legend, Ben Burt. 
And there's uh, Matthew Wood as Bib Fortuna there. And John Williams. You know, this poster is still... It's still probably one of my favourite Star Wars posters ever, period. Um, don't know what it is. I've spoken about it at length. I would, you know, one day I would love to have a nice big framed one sheet of this poster. It's just, it's iconic. You know, it's Anakin, it's the Vader, it's the simplicity of the image. It's, you know, it's the, it's distinctly Tatooine with the dome. It's, it's even this, this little, this little shadow here in the corner. It, sh it doesn't do much, but for some, somehow it sort of balances against the shadow of Vader with Anakin in the middle. It's sort of, just, I don't know, visually it's just this tiny little balancing thing. You know, you remove that and it kind of tips that way a little bit. It kind of just balances it out, shows you that doorway. And Anakin sort of walking away from, from his life. I don't know, there's just so much in that image, but so little at the same time. It's really... It's really a piece of magic, that that poster. Absolutely adore it. A picture of George and Rick McCallum. Now, it was funny, you were talking about Rick McCallum. There's John Williams, Rick McCallum, you know, who's obviously there throughout the prequels, the, pr the producer of the prequels. I didn't realise, you know, he had, he had quite a mouth on him. He wasn't <laughs> afraid of... Drop on swear words, and when you watch the beginning, you can kind of hear where they cut swear words out <laughs> in his talking. You know, there's a few moments, you know, where he's on the phone to Ewan, and oh, it's great. It's so funny, so good, such an epic part of Star Wars history. Love this, love this book. I love the documentary. Go and check it out. Check out this book. Do it. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, folks. We've got two days left. Hope you can join me for both of those. It's going to be fun. Um, see you tomorrow. May the Force be with you, always.